this video we will learn how to solve for demand when the individual treats x and y as perfect complements. Okay. So consider the following utility function which is minimum of x comma 2y, price of x is 4, price of y is 4 and income is 18. We want to find the optimal consumption model. Okay. So here is a problem that we will be solving. We want to maximize the utility subject to the budget constraint and the non-negativity constraints. So we are going to proceed and solve this problem in steps. So the first step is going to be plotting the budget line. Okay, so let's plot the budget line. So the budget line is 4x plus 4y equal to 18. Okay, so when we're going to plot it, uh, we see that the horizontal and the vertical intercept of this line are going to be 18 by 4 each, so which is 4.5. Okay, so when you're going to connect 4.5, uh, we are going to get this budget line. Notice that the slope of the budget line is 1 in absolute terms. Okay. So the next step will be to plot the preferences. Okay. So in order to plot the preferences, we'll pick some random utilities and we'll try and plot in different curves for those utility levels. Okay. So let's let's plot it. Okay. So let's consider a satisfaction level 1 for example. Okay. And let's try and plot an IC which gives individual uh, one level of satisfaction. So again, we are going to just uh, see how to deal with this utility function here. Okay. Notice that utility function takes value x when x is less than or equal to 2y and it takes value 2y when x is greater than 2y. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to plot a line y equals x by 2 okay, and we're going to divide the entire commodity space into two regions. One is x less than 2y and the other is x greater than 2y. And on this uh, line which is uh, the dashed line through the origin we have y equals x by 2. Okay. So <coughs> we know that the utility function is x in this region. Okay. So it is x in this region. So utility is x in this region and the utility is 2y in this region okay so if you want to plot indifference curve okay we are going to plot x equal to 1 in this region okay so it's going to look like this okay and we're going to plot 2y equal to 1 which is y equal to half in the region below the dashed line so the IC, if you want to complete it, is going to look like this. Okay. Uh, similarly, we can uh, try making indifference curve for different levels of satisfaction. Let's say three, and if you want to do that, we're going to get an IC like this. And uh, if we do it for another satisfaction level, say six, we're going to get an IC like this. Okay. So notice that all the indifference curves look alike; they'll all be L-shaped. Okay, the kinks of those indifference curves will be on y equal to x by 2 line. Okay, slope of the indifference curve in this portion is going to be infinity and in this portion is, is, is going to be 0. Okay, so now let's solve for the demand. In order to solve for the demand, we'll, we'll plot the budget line and we'll plot the dashed line. Okay, and now we'll again try and inspect at different points on the budget line whether they're optimal or not. Okay, so let's let's just do the inspection at this point first. Okay, uh, so this point lies in the region x greater than 2y. Right? This is x greater than 2y. Okay, so we know that the indifference curve through this point is going to be horizontal like this. And if I plot it, this is how it's going to look. Okay, so uh, clearly there is a scope to improve the satisfaction level if you move up in this direction. Okay. If we do the inspection at this point, okay, we are going to get an indifference curve like this, and this seems to be an optimal point. Okay, so what is this 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 uh, bundle? Well, this bundle is uh, x equal to three and y equal to one point five. You can simply uh, find this point by uh, solving the system of equations because this point lies on the budget line and this point also lies on y equal to x by 2 so it's just two equations and two unknowns when you're going to solve for it you're going to get x equal to 3 and y equal to 1.5 so we get x star y star equal to 3 comma 1.5 as a solution to the optimization problem thank you